Hello everybody, welcome back to our Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about all things goats. Goats are a new animal to the Farming Simulator franchise with respect to Farming Simulator 25, but they are extremely similar to sheep. So if you have played Farm Sim in the past and you have kept sheep, well, goats are going to fall pretty much under the same general requirements as sheep had previously. To that end, if you take a look at the animal menu with respect to the animal pens, you're going to find that sheep and goats are going to share the same buildings. So if we come in here to build mode, we come down to animals and we toggle over to sheep. These are going to be able to support our goats as well. We have four different base game buildings. We're talking about here an open sheep pasture that's going to hold 19 sheep or goats by default. And it is also going to require us to deliver not only food, but also water. Now, the rest of these buildings, they are going to supply water themselves. We have one for $48,000. It's going to hold 26 sheep or goats. $51,000. And it's going to hold 26 sheep or goats, just a different style of building. And then the larger pin, which is going to hold 68 sheep or goats. Something new to Farming Simulator 25 is also the introduction of what they call dynamic pastures. Dynamic pastures allows us to reconfigure the shape and capacity of our animal pins as we place them down. So let's demonstrate how this works with this large sheep pen that in its base configuration is set for 68 sheep or goats. We're gonna place it down right here and we're gonna prompt, do we want to customize the fence for our sheep barn large? Yes, we do. And now you can see we have the building down, but no fence because now we have the ability to place our fence. So what we're gonna do is, well, we're just going to build out a big Rectangle, why not? And we're gonna bring it back to our pasture. We'll see that it's just gonna snap into place. And then it says, do you wanna plant meadow grass for your sheep barn? Yes, sure. And there we go. Now we have our sheep barn down. We have a very large pasture planned out. And if we come over to this building, we're going to see by coming to the Paul icon, this is going to be where we can load or unload our animals. We now have the capacity of 113 sheep or goats. Now, this is a really neat feature. And while in this demonstration, I just simply made a giant rectangle. You could conform this to the land and or landscaping around your farm. So you can make your way around trees. You can make your way around field edges, roadsides, whatever you want. You can do this up on hillsides. It's really going to add a whole lot of customization to the game. The next thing we need to talk about is how do you get your animals? Well, there's two real ways to get your animals. You can either buy them directly here at the pin, or you can go down to the animal dealer and buy them from there and transport them to your farm. If you buy them directly from the animal pen, since we are talking about goats today, we're gonna to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we can buy goats in either one of three different ages. We can buy newborn goats at an age of zero months for $200 a goat. If we were to do that, we would double click on this. We would scroll up to a particular number that we wanted to do. And you can see how much money it's gonna cost us with a small delivery fee. Let's go ahead and buy those in. Now we can select three month age juvenile goats and they are gonna be a little bit more costly at $308 a piece. We can do the same thing. We can click here. Once this is selected, we can either tick up or if we wanted to fill the whole thing, we can just tick down and that's gonna show us the available capacity. I would caution you though, not to fill up the sheep pen because you won't have room for them to reproduce when the time comes. So let's go ahead and buy these in. And then we have our oldest goats, our mature goats at an age of 16 months. They're gonna be the most costly because they're gonna start producing goat milk in large quantities right away. 
We can buy those for $777. And again, we're going to buy just 10. Now let's talk about our goats, goat ages, reproductive cycle, etc. So our 16 month old goats, they're going to be our adult goats. You see, they have a age of 16 months, as I mentioned. Goats also have a puberty period of 16 months. So once a goat reaches 16 months, it's going to be able to start to reproduce. And there is a gestation period of five months, which means at this point forward, these 16 month old goats, as they continue to age, will reproduce one for one every five months. So five months from now, we will have 20 or we have another 10 zero month old goats. Those zero month old goats now will be five months old and the three month old goats will be eight months old. Five months after that, we'll have another newborn set of goats, 10, because well, our 16 month old goats will have produced again and the cycle will just continue. When our three month old goats reach the age of 16 months, well, they will start reproducing as well. And then our zero month old goats, again, once they reach 16 months, they will start reproducing also. Visually, we have three different, well, models of goats. We have our newborn goats. We have our juvenile goats. And we have our adult goats. So here we go. Newborns, juveniles, and our adults. As the goats age, their visual representation will, of course, change. Our newborn goats will change to be the same visual appearance as juveniles when they reach an age of three months. Our juveniles will stay that <laughs> appearance until they reach the adult age of 16 months, at which time then they will visually change their appearance. Let's jump over to the animal dealer now and talk about what it would take to purchase animals there and deliver them to the farm. Over at the animal dealer, which on Riverbend Springs is going to be located right here, right across the street from the shop. And our starting farm is located right here. Of course, depending on the map you're on, the location of the animal dealer will vary. One thing that won't vary, though, is that Kate will be here ready to answer any questions that you might have. But really, we don't have any questions for her. We're going to come over here to our animal trigger, and we're going to make use of the Flegel TTW 140 animal trailer. Let's take a look in our vehicle shop. We're going to scroll down to animals, and in the animals section, there's going to be an animal transport. For transporting our goats, we're going to either need the NOAA TTW 140 or the Wilson Silver Star trailer. Silver Star will either require a semi or a fifth wheel dolly. Meanwhile, the NOAA will connect either to a truck or tractor. Once we are positioned inside the trigger, we're going to be able to go into our tractor. We can hit R and R will now allow us to either load onto or if we toggle this switch to load off of the trailer. Since we don't have any on the trailer, we can't offload right now. We're going to toggle over to our sheeps and goats. We're going to scroll down to the bottom list. And you can see once again, these prices are the same as they were at the farm. But in this case, we do not have a delivery fee. We can store a total of 13 goats into this trailer. So let's go ahead and buy just 10. $7,777, zero delivery fee because we are bringing our own trailer. And we now have purchased those. And you can see that they are in the trailer. Just like we can buy animals here at the animal dealer, we can also sell them back. So if we have had reproduction to the point where now we are over full, we are at our capacity on our pastures. Let's pull that up. Right, we are reached max capacity on our pen. We just cannot at any point in time hold more. Therefore, when our goats reproduce, we're losing we're losing goats. Right? When it fills up, our goats will reproduce, 
they just won't spawn anywhere. Yeah, tell me about it. It's kind of interesting. Any rate, what we need to do is we need to thin out the herd. There's a couple ways to do that. We can either put down another pasture and move our goats from one pasture to another using our trailer, or we can load goats onto the trailer, bring them down to the animal dealer, and sell them back. To just sell them back, we're going to come here to our menu, like we did, to load onto, but we're going to toggle this switch, which is then going to say we want to sell from. Now, do note, we're not going to get nearly the price that we sold for our animals as we paid for them. But with respect to reproduction, those were basically free animals anyway. So getting a little bit of money is going to be helpful. Now, with respect to what do our goats eat? Well, let's hit escape and let's jump back here to our animal menu. And we can see from this information screen that our sheep are going to either take meadow grass or grass or hay. So meadow grass would be the grass that is growing within the pen. And hay or grass would be in the format of either bales or loose material brought to the pasture. So we have three different types of bales that I've got here just to visually demonstrate. We have small baby bales, I call them, small square bales. Then we have the larger square bales. These come in three different sizes, of which this is the medium size, I believe. And then we have round bales. And again, this is the medium size. They come in three different sizes. I have here bales of hay, but you could also bale straight grass. And typically to feed your goats, you're gonna be presenting the bale to the feed trough. And the bale is just going to basically be consumed within the feed trough and it's gonna vanish. You're gonna be transporting your bales typically with a front loader. You can either use a front loader like this, a self-propelled variety, or you could get front loader arms for your tractor and make use of it that way. We're gonna find these here under loaders. So we have our front loader. We have front loader arms that we would attach to our tractor. We have then front loader tools like a pallet fork and bale spike. We could also use a telehandler or a skid steer if we wish to. And then also they're going to have the corresponding pallet fork and bale spike for each of their associated vehicles. So here we have the bale spike. Here we have the pallet fork. And we're going to need the pallet fork because our goats are going to spawn pallets of milk. We're going to need a flatbed truck or trailer of some sort in order to transport our milk and possibly our bales from the field to the farm. So here I have the International CV Series. And we could take these sides down and load up our pallets of milk on this because we're going to either transport our milk to either the base game dairy that is either pre-placed on the map or one of these two placeables, which we'll talk about in a little bit. For the open sheep pasture, I mentioned that they require water. So if you have placed that down, you're gonna to need to have a water tanker. You're gonna find the water tanker under vehicles. Once again, down here under the animal section, we have barrels and then we have four different trailers that are gonna be able to transport your water. I have the 1600 version right here. And then for loose material. Well, I want to jump up on here. Come on. For loose material, you'll need some sort of trailer or forage wagon in order to transport your loose grass or hay. We have here the FarmTech FDK650 and it is loaded up with a load of hay. Because there's two different ways to feed. You can either feed, as I mentioned, in bale or loose format. Now there is currently, as of version 1.2.1 of the game, an interesting bug with this building here on the right. It does not appear to accept bales. Meanwhile, the other pastures do. So the only way to feed this particular building is gonna be with loose material. Again, as of version 1.2.1. If you're watching this video and the game has been subsequently updated, then this issue may be corrected. 
damage. You can see once we add our hay in here, if we look inside our building, you can see, uh, you can see that we have hay now in that trough inside. In addition to hay, I mentioned that our animals are going to be able to feed from the meadow grass that is within the pen. Typically, meadow grass is going to take a little bit of time to register from the time that you have placed it down. So what I'm going to do is come over here and go ahead and fast forward into September. And we should see now meadow grass appear on our food charts. Good morning, everybody. It is now September, and if we check our animal screen, well, we can now see that we have meadow grass appearing for all of our pins. We have a health of 60%. Don't worry about that. It is slightly affected because of September. We didn't feed this particular building, but we're going to see in other screens that we have 100%. But at any rate, we have meadow grass, and we have a capacity. This is that big pin that we put down, 19,803 liters. And our sheep within this are going to be consuming meadow grass until winter, at which time the grass will die back. And we'll need to then basically make sure we are definitely feeding hay to all of our animals. Otherwise, their health and their productivity will suffer. We toggle over to our next pin. Well, here we have our large pin that had 17, no, 10 adult sheep. They are now 17 months old because one month has passed. They had grass or hay already supplied for them, so they have 100% health. So if you want to maximize your animal's productivity, feed them right away. Don't just count on the meadow grass being there for them. We can also see that we are 20% into our reproductive cycle. As we move every month, this is going to jump 20% because it's five months until we reach 100%. And at that point in time, we're going to see 10 newborns also appear in this building and then our reproductive will go back to zero percent the sheep barn our newborns are now one month of age they are six percent through their puberty cycle remember they have to reach an age of 16 months before they are ready to reproduce and we once again we have our meadow grass showing up we have our grass showing up and a total productivity and health of 100 percent we can see this continue. Now, these goats, they didn't, again, have any grass fed to them, so their productivity and their health is down. They're not reproducing at all because, well, their health isn't maximized out. So again, in order to maximize your productivity, go ahead and have on hand some hay to feed these guys when you first put them down. Then we have our sheep pasture, our open sheep pasture. We still are good with our water capacity. We fed them a little bit of grass from that small bale and our meadow grass, so they are doing fine as well. Now back to the shop, because I mentioned you want to make sure that you can feed these animals from the outset. And if you don't have hay right away, well, you can come here to the shop and you can actually buy it in, which is pretty neat. So to do that, we're going to come down here to objects, category bales. And we can buy square bales of hay, round bales of hay. And you can pretty much just decide which bale do you want to buy. How many bales do you want to buy? With a total of up to eight. And if we buy these, they're going to spawn over the shop. We'll need to come and then transport those back to the farm. Now that some time has passed, we also... And talk a little bit about what do these guys produce well they produce goat milk and goat milk is going to appear on pallets of these milk jugs and when the pallet reaches 1000 liters it will be full and another pallet will spawn until it's 1000 liters the capacity of this pallet will just keep increasing right now we have 164 liters of goat milk in this pasture in our larger pasture where we placed 10 of each size goat. We also have our milk. But you're going to notice it has just 24 liters of milk. Well, the reason for that is, remember, we didn't feed these guys. So they went a month without being able to eat. So they've only been able to eat since September when that meadow grass was registered. 
again, it really holds that we should feed our animals at the start and make sure they maintain them being well fed. Our newborns, as should be, aren't producing any milk. But what's interesting is our juveniles are. Now, in my opinion, that's just a bug and that should be fixed out. Juveniles should not be producing milk. We shouldn't get any milk until our animals are at full age. And here we have another set of animals that are full age. Again, goat milk is only at 20 liters because we didn't feed these guys anything either. So as I mentioned, our juveniles do produce milk. A little bit of milk. We have a whole six liters of milk, but we have milk nonetheless. Now this also may be patched in a future game update where juveniles don't produce milk. When we get our pallet of milk, well, what do we do with it? Well, we can sell our raw goat milk at the dairy if we do not own the dairy, or if we own the dairy, we can produce either bottled goat milk or we can produce goat cheese. So here we have a bottled goat milk pallet and here we have a pallet of goat cheese. We have two different placeable dairies within the base game or we have, depending on the map, you might have a dairy already pre-placed. We do not have a dairy available as far as a production. There is a dairy available that is a sell point, but it is not a productive point. So that is something to take note of. You may or may not have a production dairy on your map. If we look at our prices screen and we come down here to our goat milk, sell our goat milk at the dairy. This is going to be the sell point on the map. Or we could take it to the dairy if we own the dairy and use it in our production. On this map, since we have a warehouse, we could buy milk in, but don't. It's, it's never going to be profitable to buy goat milk in in order to run it through a production. You see our raw goat milk on easy economy is going to have an average low price of 7614 per thousand liter to 9,222 per thousand liter. Again, if you're on normal or hard economy, these prices will be different. Our bottled goat milk, which is an output of our production, can be either sold at on Riverbend Springs, Farmer's Market, Gold Crest Valley train cell point, the restaurant, or the small farmer's kiosk just up by the road. And the average low price is going to be 5697 Meanwhile, the average high price is going to be 6900 again, on easy economy. Our goat cheese, again, based per 1,000 liters, is going to have an average low of 47.52 or an average high of 57.54, and it's going to be available for sale, again, at the farmer's market, train sell point restaurant, or the small farmer's kiosk. Now, let's take a look at our production chains that we own. We're going to be able to bring our raw goat milk to our production chain, and we're going to be able to produce bottled milk at a ratio of one to two. So for every 10 units of goat milk we bring, we're going to make 20 units of bottled goat milk. So imagine 1,000 liters of goat milk in equals 2,000 liters of goat milk out bottled. With respect to the small production, we're going to be able to do that in cycles of 14.4 cycles per month. The larger placed dairy, well, it's going to be able to output 10 times that at 144 cycles per month. Our goat cheese is going to take three units of goat cheese for six units of goat cheese. Or, sorry, three units of goat milk for six units of goat cheese. So again, we are doubling. And we're going to do that at 960 cycles per month for goat cheese at the big dairy. Meanwhile, it's going to be just 96 cycles per month at the small dairy. So in all regards, the small dairy is going to produce at one-tenth the speed of the larger dairy. So hold on. This is me post-production coming to you while I'm editing this video. I noticed that we can also make standard butter with goat milk. That wasn't in the Giants information with respect to what goats are good for. So with respect to butter, we're going to take three units of goat milk and it's gonna make 10 units of standard butter. That's at our larger dairy. 
which is going to be able to do 744 cycles per month. The smaller dairy is going to be able to take 3 units of goat milk and produce 10 units of butter, but it's going to be only able to process at 74.4 cycles per month. And now, on with the rest of our show. So guys, that is just about it. I think that wraps up everything you need to know with respect to goats and how to care for them here in Farming Simulator 25. Where to place the goats, the fact that you can customize your pen and make it larger and suit your area as you should so fit with the use of the new dynamic pastures feature. How to buy your goats either here at the farm or at the animal dealer with a trailer. What to feed your goats and how to feed your goats either by bale form or by loose form. And then basically what goats will produce, how often goats will reproduce, and then where we can take our goat output in goat milk and either produce additional products with it or sell it if it is available for sale. I'd love to know your all's thoughts down in the comments below with respect to goats and farming simulator 25. And until next time, happy farming. Hey Walter, what's up?